During the Song Dynasty in China, a farmer was plowing a field when he saw a strange sight. A rabbit suddenly rushed over, bumped into a tree stump, and died. The farmer, who got a rabbit meat for free, threw away his plow and just sat in front of the stump since that day. But he couldn't get a single rabbit even after waiting for many days. Rumors about the foolish farmer spread everywhere. He eventually became a source of laughter for everyone of the Song Dynasty. This story is a sujudeto from the Odupyon, written by a law theorist, Han Bija, at the end of the spring and autumn warring states period. A metaphorical term for the foolishness of those who do not want to develop because of the old paradigms. Aren't there people around us who think that those times were good and live being trapped in old customs and past experiences? Anbija believed that in each era, there is a political system suitable for that era. For example, the politics of humanity from the era of ancient times, which emphasized temperance and perseverance, is not a suitable political system during the Warring States period. In other words, Hanbija thought that an old paradigm should not be directly applied in the present. World-renowned cultural critic Marshall McLuhan spoke of a similar story. Politics throws yesterday's answers on today's problems. This is also a sarcasm for not being able to properly see the reality because of being tied to the old paradigms. A paradigm is the eyes of people in an era used to view their world, or a term referring to a system of perception, like a frame of thought. The term was first used by Thomas Kuhn, a philosopher of science, in his book The Construction of the Scientific Revolution. Since a paradigm means perspective and frame, if a different paradigm is applied, the same object and situation should be perceived differently. Therefore, in these days of rapid paradigm shift, if you are stuck in an old paradigm, you won't be able to see the problem correctly. After entering the fourth industrial revolution, there are numerous companies that have shut down for not making the necessary changes. In Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, before discussing the seven habits, Stephen Covey explains the concept of paradigm in detail. And in the conclusion part, he emphasizes once again that the paradigm shift is a change from within. This is because they thought that the seven habits would be meaningless if the paradigm was not established correctly. Covey compares the paradigm to a map. A map is a guide for us to find our destination. Of course, only when the map is accurate, we can arrive at our destination. If an old place name, which is difficult to confirm, remains unchanged, or the map is incorrectly marked, the more effort we put into walking, the further away we will get from our destination. In the end, the sweat and effort you shed will become meaningless for walking in the wrong direction. Chai Wan Fei, a modern scholar in China, coined the term Yoshigujin, which means to move forward together in line with the flow of the times while explaining Yoshigujin. Chai Wan Fei lamented the situation of the country suffering from the Western powers in the early 20th century. He hoped that China would overcome the difficulties by breaking away from the old paradigms and accumulating a paradigm suitable for the flow of the new era. Chai Wanfei's Yoshi Gujin was not simply to adapt to the flow of the times, but to move forward while creatively and proactively adapting to the changes of the times. Network marketing is a new method of distribution, created in a new era with a new flow. Therefore, it is also the mission of all network marketers to break away from the old paradigms and to create a new industrial ecosystem. In the era of paradigm shift, it depends on your choice whether to stay in the past or to lead this change to success.